Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here, and today we are going to talk how reasoning models are really useful in scenarios like Rack. So let's go directly for this, C-sharp samples, repo, and you. So first of all, quick reminder that we announced that DeepSeq R1, this is the one that we are going to use today, is available in Azure AI Foundry and also in GitHub models. You can test and use this model for free. For this scenario, I am going to follow the same pattern that I've been doing. I am going to use Olama and download Olama and have it here. I have my Olama model somewhere here. And as you can see, I have five, the old five, the original one, and I have also DeepSeeker one. And what are we going to do? What is the scenario that we want to solve? I want to show you how solving to doing ragging example is a good place to use reasoning models when you have a lot of information and you need to also crawl and understand the information. So I'm going to run this first with five. I have five here. And the whole idea of this is to basically work, uh, answer the question, how many people watch Venom 3? So I have here a set of information facts. So I have here Gisela watch Venom 3, Bruno watch Venom 3, and also a San Goku. So the right answer is one, two, three, four. So we have Bruno, a San Goku. However, if we run this with a model like five, we are going to see the first answer here, there it is, is that I don't have answer to real-time data, of course. And when we do RAG based on this, we are going to see that, hey, we cannot determine how many people watch the movie because given facts. So the model is fine. And by the way, Fire, great model to do multilinguals and more. I'm probably going to have a better result with I use 5.4. I choose an old one to show this. But let's change this using the reasoning model. The whole idea of having a reasoning model is to show how we can do so. Let's run the sample again. There it is, it's working. And let's take a look at a couple of things here. First of all, and this is important, the reasoning models, when we ask the question to the reasoning model, depending on the context, depending on the information that we provide, they take some time to think about the question. So in this scenario, we can see here that we have the sync start and sync end here. Because we don't provide any additional information, the response that we have here is that, hey, as my, as my last update in July 2024, I don't have real-time data to determine. So it's not going to help us to know how many people watch the movie. However, when we provide information, and remember, this is the six entry points that we provide. You say, if I were a superhero, we don't care about that. I'm a good friend, so I care about that, but it's not for this question. But then Giselle watched Venom 3, Bruno favorite superhero, Bruno went, and then Ace and Goku. Then we have the sync, the start to process that this is how the reasoning models think about DeepSeq or think about O1 or O3. So this is how they tackle this problem. So the way that they have to do this is, okay, I need to figure out how many people watch Venom 3 by saying the given facts. Let me go through each fact one by one and see information provided. First, we have the fact that Gisela watched Venom 3 uh, two weeks ago. So at least one person is here. Uh, but that's the mean only not that that follow here. Then another fact mentioned, so Ace and Goku watched Venom 3. And this is important. We, the model understand that there is two people, Ace and Goku, who watch Venom 3 also, along with Eternals, but we don't care about Eternals. By the way, I don't like Eternals. And then we have Bruno who went to the cinema to watch Venom 3. That's another, another person. Another fact says Bruno doesn't like Eternal, but we see are focusing on Venom 3. We don't care about that. Then, hey, there are a couple of things. So when we model compiler, the relevant information, we have Gisela watch it, Ace and Goku watch it, along with Eternals, and Bruno watch the movie. There's a total of three people, uh, and wait, that's four. And this is interesting. This is kind of fun. That's a total of three people, Gisela, Ace, and Goku, and Bruno. Wait, that's four. Did I okay, so model is funny. I didn't get that. This is the first time I read something like this. So we have all of the syncing process. They clarify. We have this, the facts that are related. This is also interesting. Remember, we're doing RAG. So at the end, we're going to have the list of facts which are related to this question. Think about when we have tons of documents. We are knowing to know the sources of the documents. So if we follow at the end, we have the end of the syncing scenario. We have also the right answer. Four people watch Venom 3. And the answer is four people watch Venom 3. And because here, I don't 
create this as a list of strings in memory. So we don't have a full set of this is the document A, B, or C, but we have the sources that influence this. So we can get, get, get the source wherever we have. So this is a great example. So you can see how reasoning models can solve, can be better in scenarios like in example, RAC. And I really, really advise you if you at least give it a try, O1, O3, by the way, O3 mini, very good uh, to, to work in rugged scenarios. And please let me know your experiences there. As always, I appreciate the likes and subscribe. I hope you like it. Download, fork the repo, and let me know what you think. Goodbye.